multi shopping site app using MIT App Inventor. So let's first see how this app works. So this is a multi site shopping app where you can search for one item on different web pages or on different websites using one single app. So if you type earrings in the search bar and click on Flipkart, it will search earrings for you in Flipkart. And if you click on Mintra, it will search on Mintra website. If you click on Amazon, it will search your result on the web, Amazon web page. Now let's change our search query to cupboard and let's click on pepper fry. So it will search the cupboards on pepper fry for me. Okay, so now let's learn how we can create this app. So as this is the multi shopping site app, you can search for an item on different sites on different uh, using different websites like Amazon, Mintra, Pepper Fry, Flipkart using one single app. So now let's get started and see how you can create the user interface of this app. So the user interface is pretty simple. So first of all, we will drag horizontal arrangement and let's change the height of this arrangement to 15% and width of this arrangement to fill parent. Okay, so next one will be vertical scroll arrangement. And now let's change the height and width of this vertical scroll arrangement to fill parent. Okay, so that's all. Now we will add one text box inside after the first horizontal arrangement. So uh, this is where I want to, uh, sorry. I want to add my vertic uh, text box between the two arrangements. So let's increase the height of my text box. Let's make the height as, set the height as 10%. Yeah, this looks fine. And let's also change the hint for the text box. Let's here type, type your search here. So this will be the hint that will display in the text box every time when you start the app. Now let's change the width of this text box to fill parent. Okay. Now I want four buttons for four sites. So let's drag four buttons on the screen. Okay. And the fourth one also you can add somewhere in between. So these are the four buttons. I know you are not able to see all the four buttons on the screen, but in the components panel, we are able to see the four buttons. That means the four buttons have been added on the screen. You will be able to see all the four buttons when you test the app on your mobile phone. So let's rename these buttons one by one. So first button will be Amazon. Next button. So right now I'm just renaming the buttons. It will be Flipkart. Fourth but uh, next button will be Mintra. And the last button will be Pepper Fry. Okay. So we are done renaming all the four buttons. Now let's change the text for all the buttons. So for the Amazon button, the text should say Amazon. Okay, this looks fine. Now next for Flipkart. It should say, uh, sorry, F L I P K A T Flipkart. Next for Mintra, it should say M Y N T R A Mintra. Okay, and for Pepper Fry again, it should say Pepper Fry. Pepper Fry. Okay, Pepper Fry is basically the furniture app where you can search for furniture. So uh, now we can see the fourth button also, but not. The complete button but you will be able to see the button on your computer on your uh, device on your mobile phone when you will test the app let's change the height of this horizontal arrangement to 10 percent i'm not liking 15 percent very much let's change it to 10 percent yeah this looks fine and let's change the alignment as center okay align horizontal should also be center and align vertical should also be center now we can change the color for these buttons and also the shape and size if you want. So I just want to change the color for these buttons. So first of all, I will make the text as bold and I will change the color for these buttons. 
so first one is amazon so let's change amazon to this cyan color then flip card to yellow and then mintra let's change mintra to um, okay let's custom the color and let's choose a custom color and choose the orange color for mintra okay let's choose this for mintra and for pepper fry let's choose the red color for pepper fry okay and let's make the text also bold in all the buttons okay so for all the buttons the text is bold and my buttons look fine to me now the last thing is drag and drop the web viewer web viewer in the user interface palette you will find web viewer just drag and drop the web viewer component in the vertical scroll arrangement so that's all we are done with our user interface now if you want you can change the background color of your arrangements also uh, let's change the background color to light gray okay or maybe let's change to baby pink okay and for the vertical arrangement also let's change the color to pink okay this looks fine now let's go to our blocks window and now let's code all the buttons so first one when amazon dot click so when amazon button is clicked then click on web viewer component scroll down and use this one call web viewer one go to url url is basically uniform resource locator url is this address this address of your website okay so when amazon button is clicked then it should go to amazon url so this is my amazon url but class one thing don't simply copy any url and paste there i will share the urls of all the four sites with you in the description box so use the the url which i have shared with you in the description box only so uh, let's just copy this and paste this here but before we paste this go to text block and then use the join block here and then in the text you will find this one so just paste it here using control plus v your shortcut key now here so i want to join this url with the just a minute i want to join this url with the text box a uh, text of this text text box so click on your text box component and scroll down and drag this one text one dot text so whichever item user will enter in the search box that item will be joined with this url and you will be able to see the search results in that in this space provided in the vertical arrangement here you will be able to see so if i type here watch and click on amazon then it will be combined with the amazon url my search query will be combined with the url it will be joined because i have used the joint block and the search result will be shown here so now let's just duplicate this duplicate this four times because we are using four different buttons you can also add five buttons six buttons or three buttons according to your choice and now let's change the second one to flip card and let's go to the flip card and just simply copy this url go to your mit app inventor and paste this again i'm repeating don't copy and paste any url this is a specific url that i'm pasting inside this for each website i will be sharing the url with you in the description box please use that url only so i'll go to mintra and here i will copy this one control c i'll go to app inventor delete this and paste this one then last one is pepper fry so i'll go to pepper fry copy this and delete this and paste the pepper fry link here okay so i'm done with all the four blocks all the four buttons that's it we are done with our app so just a minute i completely forgot to change this fourth amazon block to pepper fry so it should be when pepper fry dot click okay so my all the four buttons are are working fine this is amazon flipkart mintra and pepper fry yeah 
now let's just test the app once again so for testing the app click on connect click on ai companion and using your mobile phone scan the code and you will be able to test the app also make sure when you type your search query in the text box it should not have any spaces in between for example if you want to search for dresses women dresses so always type women dresses without any space in between i will just show you that in the app also while we test the app and uh, to avoid any confusion what you can do is you, in the text box one text box component in the hint box you can type here type your search here without any spaces okay earlier we just wrote here type your search here so you can also write type your her, uh, search here without any spaces because if you will insert any space then your url will become incorrect and it will not search for you the item on any of the web page on amazon flipkart mentra or pepper fry so make sure the user always enter the search item without any spaces so now let's just test our app now open your mit app inventor app on your device scan the code and then this is the app so now in the search bar we will type the item we want to search for so let's say i want to search for earrings and then i will click on flipkart and let's wait for the search result yeah so yeah this is my flipkart web page you can scroll up and down and then if i click on mintra so this is my mintra web page and now amazon okay so in this way you can search for single item on different web pages now let's type our search item as cupboards and let's go to pepper fry so yeah this is the search result in the pepper fry okay so now let's type table lamp without any space in between make sure when you type two words don't leave any space in between otherwise the app will not work it will say that url is incorrect okay so now if you click on mintra it will show you some results for mintra also so So thank you all for joining with me I hope you all enjoyed the video happy inventing